Tell the kid, baby. PMF Adrian. You know. Tell me about 5-2 Mob. How you guys met? How you got together? What you plan on doing with it? Yeah. Since high school, huh? Yeah. Yeah, since high school. Yeah, since we were like, wait, wait elementary actually. All of you guys? Or yeah, all of us. All of you All of us, we know each other. Yeah. Same circle for a lot, very long time. You know? yeah. Same circle. It's, it's where you see new people kicking it, like, wow, especially around me too, you know, about around Earth and shit. Like, it's always been the same people all around us, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Where do you guys plan on taking 5-2 Mob? As far oh. as it goes. Oh. All there the way up? Go. As far yeah. as it goes. Yeah. All the way. So when I first started following you guys, it was less than a year ago. You didn't have that many followers. Now you guys have like 50,000 followers. How do you think you've grown so quickly? Grind. You know, putting in that work. That's it, it's hard to get support as a local rapper. Yeah, you know, you it's, got, it's all about being real. showing love. Yeah, there you go. And showing love to the people who show love back. As an artist, if you go big, they call them fans. I don't call them fans. I call them supporters because they're just supporting what I'm doing, to be honest. Because I'm equal as them. I don't look at them as I don't degrade them. I think that they could do the same. Sh they could go big like me. Shit, humble. Yeah, you got it. let's let you know. Yeah, yeah. I think, but the main re but the main main reason I'm really doing it up is because of God. Okay. Yeah, God got me. That's right. I got you too. <laughs> Explain your style <laughs> and where it comes from as a group. I think we all we all got a different style. Yeah, yeah we, we all different. I think we all like we all What's your style? Sound to us. I don't know. I just I just I what sounds good to me is what I do. Like if it sounds good to me, I do. It just comes I'm natural. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah naturally. Yeah, yeah. Just being yourselves. What yeah. about you? What do you say too? I'm more like new generation. I like that. You bring the new sound, huh? Yeah, yeah like new generation. Yeah, that's just my. Yeah. Any life experiences that shaped you guys into the artists you are today? Any major yeah. life experiences? That's a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been saying. Yeah. The whole been a Just growing up in Oxnard? Yeah. Every yeah. day, to be honest, we get new life experiences that. Yeah. So you, you, when you're really in the streets, like, you you kind of lose track. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, Too much happens. Too much happens if you're in the streets. How was it growing up in Oxnard? Because I hear a lot about Oxnard, how bad it is. Is it really that bad? It's, it's that bad, but you, you, um. You used to it. Yeah, you you like to live with it. Go with it. It's normal. Like yeah, there you go. That's regular. You become yeah. accustomed to your surroundings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's real. Um, Oxnard has so many talented artists. Where I come from, music has connected people who otherwise would be enemies. Has it connected Oxnard Oxnard I, at all? I think I think well the first we just put up put up one video yeah. and I feel like people have connected to it because I see people showing me love everywhere I go you know saying to, to them and shit you guys are open <laughs> to connecting with people outside of your area well, like, well, I, I'm, we're open to connect with people and shit but to be honest I feel like we should we should uh just go our own way be, before we even connect with people because yeah. to build our, ourselves we yeah. build ourselves yeah. yeah and then you'll be open because ever since five tools came up I always I always seen it you know I always I just seen it. You saw the vision? Yeah, I saw the vision. The vision just stuck with me. I was like, that's it, you know? Yeah. It's going to go crazy. When did you guys start 5-2 Mom? Just recently? Yeah, a couple months uh, ago. Yeah, not like a year already. Right? Like a year already. Right? Yeah. You guys are going five up. 5-2 Mom was always the thing. It's just that we just We didn't put that. a name to it. Yeah. 5-2 yeah. yeah. Mom. It was. Yeah. So, like, what, three years ago? But it was, we never really made it a thing like that. What are some things that inspire you to rap? What, what do you think? Rap songs. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. If I hear a song and when I, I hear I like, like, damn, I can make something even harder than that. You feel me? Like, that's what it kind of inspires me to rap. Yeah, there you go. Same thing with the... So, this, like I said before, and I'll say it again, there's so many motherfucking talent in the A05 when I see like, people from the A05 putting up videos, putting up songs, and they'll go hard be like, damn, I'm going to go harder now. But I see it as yeah. motivation. Like, like I support them too. I don't see that. I don't. I don't hate on them. Like, I don't care. I see them like, oh my, who's going on? Like, that food. makes me proud. That they're food. putting on for the A05. Yeah. That there's makes other me. Foods in the A05 that like see somebody else making it, or see somebody else getting numbers, and, and they see that as like they hate on it. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what the reason is to hate no. on it. Like, I, I don't. I don't see why people hate like. If we could but, just unite and yeah. push each other. Imagine all the Oxnard rappers, all the talent, where to all get together and yeah. do some There you go. Shit. It'll be like some fucking 
Well, yeah, we'll just like some some back in the days Compton shit, you know, with all of them like. We should up work on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be dope, but. I don't we know. Don't get a lot of hate. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that. Hey, I'm proud of A05, though. Regardless yeah. if you're my enemy, I don't give a fuck, big dog. I see y'all, y'all movement, everything, the talent. I see that shit. Much love. Tell That's us good. about your work ethic in the studio together. And we be bullshitting too much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, it all depends, like, like hey, the pass moves. the bottle. Pass the bottle to the homies. Yeah. We go in unprepared, but we come out with the bangers. Yeah. Hey, that, yeah, yeah, he said, we, hey, yeah, we be going all fucked up to the studio. You know, we we, we be slacking though, got, like gotcho. We be slacking, yeah. but every time we go in the studio, we come out with a banger. At, at least like one banger, huh? At yeah. Least one. Uh, shout out, my niggas in the cages. Peace to all my niggas in the gray. Hey, <laughs> is that yeah. something that's coming out or what? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That I'm ready. ready. I already asked these two, but if you could sure collab with alcohol. any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Damn. Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 shit, oh, shit, man. you see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, let's let's put a little twist to it. Shit, what if, what if, what if Michael Jackson got with Tupac? Imagine. Woo! <laughs> hey, that shit. That blew my mind. It just, <laughs> it just goes crazy. You know, it's just like. It's just a, it's all about. Different. It's all about different. It's all about being different. Being like, unique. Yeah, it's all about having a I'm sound that sounds good, it. but it's different. Yeah. Because you, know? you want to be hearing the same thing. You don't. Time. You really yeah. don't. You know? Like that trap yeah. shit is the same thing every time. Yeah. I was just and to be honest, shit. I only hear that shit because I'm lit. <laughs> all the time. If you could collab with any artist that are alive, who would it be? <laughs> Biggie. He said the same, same thing, thing. Biggie. Why is that? His wordplay. His wordplay. How'd you guys feel about the 2020 election? Fuck Joe Trump. Biden and fuck Trump. Honestly, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> as long as Trump ain't running the country. Yeah, yeah. Either, either way, either but way, still, fuck Joe Biden. Biden. Fuck Trump more, yeah, as long as Trump ain't running it, we cool. Yeah. We can't do nothing about even that. We had a choice. We still I have feel no like fucking action or regard, control over there. Yeah, regardless who is the president, though, we still gonna make music. We we still gonna be. We still going. You know, still do our thing. Too. The tax is gonna be high though. Yeah, but <laughs> once that money comes in, yeah. Once yeah. yeah. that money comes in, though, we gonna pay taxes. <laughs> 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 have you seen that meme that says when Joe Biden gives the, uh, his dementia starts kicking in, the, it's all that thing. You start rolling. It. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so good. The means be killing me. What advice do you guys have for artists to start now? When you push start, it. yeah, push it. You you you're gonna go like I read this fucking up. Well, I seen this interview. Don't be goofy though. For Missy, yeah, yeah, there you go. Put, do your own image, bro. Don't hop on the bandwagon, whatever. And you're gonna go through every emotion. You're gonna feel like quitting. You're gonna feel like damn. You're gonna choose something more realistic, bro. You're not gonna wanna take the risk. Take the risk and just go for it. Do that shit, yeah. bro. Cause I think if you put in the work and you just be consistent, you gonna get it. Time I know it from experience. You guys have any new music coming soon? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What you guys got? Like albums or just singles? Single. Cap a lot with authentic. Filmed our video. Another video coming? Yeah. yeah. Shout out authentic. Shout out authentic. Hey, shout out authentic. Shout yeah. How long y'all been rapping? Um, since I was like, 11, but I didn't really start recording till I was like 16. Okay. Yeah, I was like 16. I didn't get in the studio till I was like 18. You hey, started rapping at 16? It's a whole 16? different vibe when it's a, it's a whole different vibe when you're just like, all right, let's say you just got your little studio in your room and shit. But when you hit a real studio, bro, that shit crazy. You'd be nervous at first, right? Yeah. I wasn't nervous. Nah. I was happy as I fuck. <laughs> I was happy, I was like, damn, I feel like a professional artist right here. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, I heard you say something about being another kid from a broken home. Can you tell us about that? Oh, yeah, well, I feel like a lot of people can can really fucking, uh, really connect with me. Because, you know, we all, we, I feel like if you're really from the ghetto, we all come from broken homes. Yeah. We all got problems in our, in our, in our homes. We all... 
you know, we all go through some things, you know. You don't think music has connected people that otherwise wouldn't get along? It doesn't mean different gangs or different sides of town, whatever. Yeah, I feel like it has. I feel like it has. It does, and um, I think that's the that's um that could be a good thing and a bad thing. You know, it could be a good thing where um, people just wanna they know what the talent could really do. They could really like hey, elevate to the next level. Like, and hey, let's put that shit aside. Y'all wanna be rocking these VV chains? You want that good money? You wanna feed your family? You want that shit that you've always dreamed about? You wanna chase that dream? Well, sometimes you put that shit aside and. I just feel like unite, bro. You got, you just yeah. gotta, you, you know what I mean. You got to unite, and at the end of the day, um, I want some Gucci. I mean, I want Gucci flip flops. You <laughs> feel me? <laughs> like it's just, I mean, but I'm um, at the same time, because we're always gonna say other dumb things. I mean, all that food like there's a bitch or all. Yeah, there you like, go. What rappers are you guys influenced by? Shit. I've, I've, off the top of my head, Nipsey Hussle. You know why? Rest in peace. You know, yeah, rest in peace. R.I.P. Yeah, hell yeah. Because I, I believe, I don't know, I don't know, like, I feel like to me, when he said the, the marathon, exactly what he said, when the, when he said uh, the marathon continues, like, because shit, life really is a marathon until you, in a cast. What are some things that inspire you guys to write? The struggle. Uh, the I like uh, conscious conscious writing. I don't know if you know what that, yeah. that is, but yeah, you know, um, I don't really... I tried to get into that trap shit, but that's not really me. I, I like to yeah. get into that conscious rapping, you know, really portray a message, really write about something I am. Something I'm, I'm the opposite. Uh, I can't really, you know, I like the... That what usually shit. inspires you to write? Nothing, straight up. I just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I just be writing. I just I, I I go on YouTube I find a beat and I start spinning on it. That's it, pretty much it. I don't really have inspiration. So you rap about a bunch of different things? <laughs> yeah, I rap about a bunch of different shit. I don't rap about the same. You got trap shit, party shit, yeah, yeah conscious right. shit. Yeah, nah, I wouldn't put my conscious shit out there. No, nah. nah. Okay. But, yeah, See, that's why you, you two are different. You bring yeah, something would, different. Yeah, yeah. You talk about putting on for your people and being a positive role model for kids. What kind of things do you plan on doing? I plan on shit doing a lot for the community, you know. Providing, you know, like I can't, I, like I said, I can't. Like the question you asked earlier, coming from a broken home, I feel like there's a lot of kids out there that feel how I feel, and I feel like if I could do something for them, and I have the opportunity to do something for them, I'm gonna do it. I see you promoting black and brown unity. Where I came from, there's a lot of hate between blacks and browns in the streets, so I really respect that. Why do you think we're so divided, and how do you think we could change that? Politics. I mean, there's a, there's, there's a big difference. There, there, there's this gang shit. Yeah. Then there's this... Race shit? Like, race shit. It's all about the media, you know? They, they, they influence it. So you guys don't let that. For me, I don't. You? I don't. The 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 media, it just people. The people let that shit get to their head. Nah, we're not supposed to let that shit get to our head. Cause we're we're in the we're in a generation where the media, oh, they they hop on the bandwagon. They hop on the they uh, they ride the boat. Like they yeah. like let's say someone big posts this shit. Oh yeah, they're gonna think like that. They and try to I, divide us. They, it works. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. works. And so I, I respect you for that. Yeah. What's your favorite song right now? I don't bail by YG. Okay. Because I'm out on bail. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What, uh, uh, my favorite song right now? Um, Adele, Someone Like You. I like that song. Wait, what's the, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> the bro just said Adele. He did. <laughs> Sing that shit, 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 I can't do that. She good, man. She can't be my feelings. That's right. She can be my feelings. I'm a...
That's some real nigga shit right there. You know? <laughs> 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 if you don't like it, down, just fuck out. <laughs> 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 I shared a snippet of a song you rapped in Spanish, and my IG went crazy over that. No when way. are you dropping the full song? Oh, bro, I've been slacking. A lot of people been asking me for it too, but uh, well, something happened, you know, some 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 personal shit happened. But I'm gonna put it out there. Yeah. What's yeah. the name of that song? Esta para la raza. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. IG went crazy over that shit. Yeah. Uh, name five artists from your most recent playlist. Nipsey, Tupac, Biggie, Chalino Sanchez. Hey! One more. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> Chalino and Selena. Selena. Okay. Selena, that's my, that's my baby right there. I, I heard you talk about Selena before. Yeah, that's my baby right there. <laughs> uh, what about you, G? I got fucking... I got Drake. Okay. Yeah, Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> Eminem. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm you see that? Two different flavors. I got the they combined perfect. Smart. I got Rochi. Nah, Drake go hard. No and cap. Forty two Doug. Yeah, Drake hard. Oh, okay. forty two Doug go hard. Yeah, he's hard. What advice do you guys have for the artists just starting out, the youngsters? Stay consistent yeah. and have patience. And put in the work. Put the work in. Put the work in. Carlos, what do you think makes you stand out as an artist? Being me, being real, and being and staying true. You know, not not portraying something I ain't like. Just, just being me. You know, like the the image I make. Nobody makes that image, cause, cause it's my image. Okay. You know, it's it's just me. PMF, what makes you stand out as an artist? Same shit, just me, myself. I don't really like try to jock nobody. You know, I get a lot of comments that I look like certain rappers trying to be like that. But <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not, I mean, I would, I get it, but it's not like if I went and tried to perm my hair or yeah. something like that, you know? I was <laughs> like that for a cool minute. But so, you know, fucking pelucas out here likes to roast. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> Anything else you guys would like to tell the world before we wrap it up? Hi to my. You already know what it is. Fed out Oxnard, California, age of five. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, my city Oxnard. Shout out my city Oxnard. No cat. No cat. To the supporters and the haters, too. Shout out to everybody showing love. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Everybody showing love and rocking with us. Shout out to everybody showing love and rocking with us right now. Like, I really appreciate that. Well, we really appreciate that and shit. Like, you know, we just. I always say this shit, we just some ghetto motherfuckers from a ghetto neighborhood, you know? Yeah, we really, we and, really and, 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 and for this shit to happen to us, like, like, like shit, like we really got, I'm, I'm gonna say, just to say, we really got like views on our video and shit, like, that's crazy, you know? We just like some ghetto ass motherfuckers, you know, trying to make music, make moves and shit, and people really like, love to, yeah, much love.